Chill TV News as our uh, flood coverage continues with MLA for Chilliwack, Kent Kelly Padden, uh, who's speaking from us to us from Victoria. Kelly, the timeline uh, was was nuts for you. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. You had just gone back to Victoria to go to work, and then all of this happened. Am I correct? That's right. I mean, the timeline was crazy for everyone, um, but yes, I I feel like it was happening behind me <laughs> as I was moving. Uh, as you were moving, uh, we were talking with Jason Lum, the uh, FERD chair yesterday, as well as uh, city councillor. He is the pride of Yarrow. Uh, and I, I asked him point blank, how are you doing? Take all everything else aside because he had to sign his own evacuation order for, for Yarrow. Uh, his house is okay. How are you doing? How is the family doing? You're from Lindell Beach. How's the house? What's going on? Um, thank you for asking, but I'm I'm fine. I'm good. I'm just trying to get as much work done here as possible. Um, my family's safe and dry and uh, very, very lucky because it's not the case for everyone, um, but we're very fortunate. Have you been able to, to talk to uh, some of the neighbors to find out how they're doing, what their property looks like? Um, I think we're fairly unscathed up there other than um, the pictures from the lake are coming in, Maple Maple Bay especially, um, yeah. I'm seeing a lot of. But uh, I'm seeing on social media that everyone is seems to be doing well from the area that I am. Um, and the focus is really on the people who are most affected right now. Yeah, one of my favorite places uh, to, to mellow out is Mill Bay. And then I was at Cultus Lake uh, day before yesterday, and I thought that dock looked familiar, but it was out of place. Correct me if I'm wrong, that was the dock from your neck of the woods, the south side of the lake. Um, I do know that there were some docks that, that uh, ended up on the other side of the lake from Lindell Beach. Uh, the, the park pulled as many docks as possible out of the lake uh, before, I think, the worst of it. But they're still in the water because the water has, has moved, obviously. Yeah. What, what is the general feel uh, with, your, with your fellow members of the legislature there that are there uh, for, for all of this? Is there any kind of a relief that we're getting a break in the weather or is it still a, a very stressful situation when you're walking through the the halls of the legislature so one of the the really great things that i've been able to witness that i wish people in chillac kent could have seen was how everyone rallied around each other supported each other all hands on deck to get the work done um stress I mean, yes, it's stressful, but really everyone was just focused on the people um, and, and on the work and getting it done. So I know that we're still working very, very hard. Uh, it's, it's tempting to feel relief, but we, we do have to remember that we're not through this yet. Um, different people are still feeling different impacts and there's more impacts to come as our communities you know, feel the stress of this event. Right now, I, I think we're mostly still in the reactionary period and we're going to have to take care of each other um, as you know as the stress hits afterwards the uh, public safety minister mike farnworth uh, issued uh, the edict about uh, gasoline consumption uh, and uh, hopefully it does come off the table by december the first in victoria were there lineups there as well uh, obviously you heard about back home here in the valley uh what's the the feel in victoria is it similar to what we're experiencing here i mean obviously the devastation is here it's not there uh what's the what's the feel so I, I know that there's a feeling of solidarity here. People are worried about what's happening around the province, but to be honest, uh, I've been in the legislature buildings or I've been um, trying to grab a few hours of sleep, and so I haven't really been able to get a pulse on what's happening in the broader Victoria. I've just been completely focused on back home. So um, I haven't seen lineups, but I haven't been driving around looking for them either. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, do we have an idea of what is going to be before you uh, in the legislature in, in the next week? Uh, obviously, Mike Farnworth has his job, uh, but uh, do you know of any other things that are coming down the pipe or is it still moving parts? Everything is moving so quickly. I'm really, really grateful that there's uh, the ministers in charge of, of making sure that the responses are going well and that handling this event. So Minister Farnworth, um, Minister Fleming, Minister Popham, they're, they're all working so, so hard. Uh, Minister of State 
ma, um, and they're going to be the ones who are communicating as things change and develop. One of the things that I would like to say, though, is how incredible it's been that every level has been working together so seamlessly. So I know I've been in touch with all the mayors throughout uh, the Chilliwack Kent riding, um, some of the councillors, uh, Fraser Valley Regional District, everyone is texting or calling directly to make sure that things um, get done uh, more quickly that way. I've been very fortunate as much as I wish I was home um, with my community, with my kids, with my husband. Um, when I get a question from Chilliwack Kent, I can go directly to uh, a ministry office, a minister's office, and get that question addressed. So that has been really fortunate, and I just, I'm very grateful for how people have just put down everything and just helped each other here. And you mentioned uh, Lana Popham, the uh, agriculture minister. Uh, I, yeah, I, I would assume, obviously, moving parts, but is there an agriculture I guess for lack of a better term, paper or plan uh, being put together now, or do you still have to wait for the water to recede? Because obviously everything from dairy farms to chicken coops, uh, the, the minister is going to have her hands full and her ministry will have the hands full probably, what, next for the next six months to a year? I, I can't put timelines on it, um, yeah. but basically I've been so grateful for the the communication coming out of the ministry of agriculture i know that they've they've reached out individually to so many farmers they've reached out to all the associations if but one of the things i'd like to say is if there's a farm especially a smaller farm that might not be associated um please call my office so that we can put you in touch with the minister ministry of agriculture to find out what you need what your animals need what your family need needs um you know people can call my number is 604 858 5299. Just reach out, give us a call, we'll get you in touch. But all of the farms and the farmers have a direct line to the ministry right now because it's case by case what people need. And there's no doubt that it's devastating uh, to the farmers. And um, any support we can offer right now and in the long term, I'm, I'm eager to, to hear from them. Chilliwack Kent MLA, uh, Kelly Padden, and uh... We will be talking again soon, and uh, thank you so much on short notice for joining us. My pleasure. Thanks, Don. And you're watching Chill TV News.